Hello there, Jerome here from Jerome Fitness. The other day someone asked me about the clasp knife stretching technique. Now, <clears throat> first of all you have to start with a proper warm up and then what happens or the way it works is for example if you go into a split and go as far as you can then you will contract your muscles as hard as you can for as long as you can. Now after that you will simply release the contraction and the tension and you will slide down until you can't go any further. Basically you will lose the control of the stretch and simply let go of it and fall down in the split for example. Now this is similar to the PNF stretching technique that you can do on your own where you contract your muscles for about 10 to 15 seconds in the split or the furthest that you can get into a split or basically any other stretching exercise. And then with control you will lower until you find a new level of tension and that tension again should fade away. However with the clasp knife technique this doesn't happen. Basically you will contract as hard as you can and then until you can't do any more you will let go of the tension and will drop down into whatever exercise that you are doing. Now, this is not very practical because only with things like splits you can do this because if you do a quadricep stretch for example then you cannot really let go of it because you simply have to pull harder and extend your hips more to get an increase in the stretch. So my thoughts about the clasp knife technique is that it is not very helpful. Yes it is proven to be beneficial or at least not really proven but a lot of people think that it is helpful and I believe it is a Russian technique so there are some people that have actually done some research on it. However I think PNF stretching and basically relaxed stretching as well is a lot safer. I think this is at about the same level as ballistic stretching which is also not something that I would recommend. So my advice is even though it may be a very effective way to learn a split because you will kind of go lower than you can actually do and therefore you will build some flexibility but in my opinion it, this works contradictory so my thoughts on the clasp knife stretching technique is that it is not a very safe method and definitely not suited for beginners. So that's it for this video. What do you think is the best stretching technique? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more thumbs up and I will see you next time. Hello there, Jerome here from Jerome Fitness. Here are three stretches that a lot of people do wrong. So the first one is the, is the hip stretch with the lunge 